Now we want to change that state. We want to change that state. So we need to create reducer to change that state to login and change our name. Okay. So now inside our SRC, let's create a new file user reducer.ts inside stored. Okay. And the reducer is a JavaScript function. Okay, just a JavaScript function. This function takes two params. The first one is a state. Okay. And the second one is the action. And that action contains the type and payload. That type and that payload. Type payload. Inside this function, the state is going to be our initial state. Okay, if we go to store here, let's cut that line and paste it here in reducer. And let's make the state equals to initial state. Okay, let's export that function because we, won't, we don't want to forget that. Export default this function. And this function, we just return our state. Okay, so that's our JavaScript reducer. That's your first reducer. Now we have multiple actions here. We have a login action, logout action, change name action. So we need to create if else or switch cases to handle those cases. I prefer to use switch cases, not if else, because a switch is simpler. Okay, let's create a switch. Let's put here the type of that action. And in, in switch, we just add some cases case keyword you have to know that you have to copy the correct type of that action for example that's the login you have to make sure this login string is the same here okay in that case what are we gonna do we want to login to just we're gonna return our state because we need to return our state because we don't want to lose the other states and a sign in we're just gonna make it payload or we or we can make it true whatever you want but i prefer to make it the payload we just need to correct that payload here okay now we've created our first case in our reducer let's test it let's save that and let's go to our store and instead of this function that returned the initial state we're gonna import our reducer user reducer from user reducer and just paste it here okay and let's save now let's make that button work so we want to go to home screen and inside home screen in this function we would dispatch we're gonna dispatch that action that action called login okay so let's import it and first let's import our dispatch equals to use dispatch so now let's dispatch that action the action called login action okay let's paste it here and don't forget to import it like that for users actions and don't forget parentheses so now let's test it let's press login great we have successfully logged in and let's go to profile we have successfully logged in too and here we've logged in now let's try to log out okay inside our user reducer just add a new case let's copy that or let's add it manually let's just add a new case which case that we want we want a logout case so let's copy that string and paste it here when we log out, what are we going to do? We just are going to return our state and a sign in is going to be false. Or we can make it the payload. The payload is false here. Okay, so you can make it action.payload or false. Let's add, let's make it payload better. Now, we can sign in. Look, look, we have sign in. 
and we can log out but first we want to go to profile screen and dispatch an action when we press at that button so let's go to profile screen and let's import use dispatch and inside logout let's dispatch logout action let's press save and now if if we want to press logout look now we have out and here we have out please sign in first and here too if we press here now we've logged in and here and here we have logged in now let's try our last reducer let's try to change that name so let's add a new case what to type here yes change name you have to make sure that you have copy that correct type and let's paste it here and what are we going to return we're gonna return a copy of the state or the, the the other state but we're gonna change that username change it to what we can type here a string any string that we want for example hhh so now let's go let's go to setting screen and i'm gonna show you here in setting screen let's do as we have done before let's import the dispatch and let's dispatch that action change name action and let's press save it complains here because we need to add the name here and I'm gonna add it but I want to see you that you can change it from here also so it, if you press save now it's four edges and if you want to change it to any name that you want just add the payload that payload so now here and sign screen just put the name that you want for example John and let's log in let's go here change yes we have changed it to John we can change it to a a a a a a a let's press save and there's change Yes, great, we have changed it to AAAA. So now, that's Redux. To change the state, you just add your action and pass it to the reducer and call your, your, your reducer to update the state and store the state inside your store. That's the old Redux and not Redux toolkit. So if you want to learn more, follow my channel, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and wait for great projects that I'm gonna build using Redux and in next lesson we're gonna talk about Redux Thunk, Redux Persist, Redux Toolkit and create a wonderful project. Thanks for watching.